Hello everybody, we're playing some Volibear Janna today. This is a, a very interesting deck. Some people had some great success with it early on in the season. As the expansion came out, it was one of the first few decks to hit Masters. Very impressive using both of the new champions and of course a lot of new cards to go with that. I've enjoyed Janna the most out of the new champions I've played so far. I think you get access in this deck to pretty much the best cards from the expansion. Um, Specifically, I am a big fan of Janna and Exalted Cloudwinder. Those are two of my favorite cards. And I really love the elemental package. This is interesting because it actually stacks with Volibear as well. But Ayasola here, Figurehead of the Deep, uh, helps us copy our elemental spells and skills, which is pretty important for things like Eye of the Storm. Uh, this is essentially 4 mana, give an ally plus 4 plus 0, and draw 4. Things like that. Um, Howling Gale can be doubled, Divine Whirlwind can be doubled. And Sky Splitter can be doubled. So essentially you have a 2 mana burst speed. Like we used to think Troll Chant was good. How about Sky Splitter with Ayasila on board being a 2 mana. Give an ally plus 2 plus 6. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think Miriam is an exceptional card. Like it's not a fearsome blocker. But I honestly think that's better as a 2-3 than a 3-2 would be. It's, just like, it's so hard for a lot of early units to attack through this unit. And the, the being able to the flexible either draw... Or reflay your spell mana is just so good. I like Acorn as well here. Very cool for getting our Winter's Breath cheap or even our Gale Slong Flock cheap. Um, I might, just for funsies, I know it's not in this deck list specifically, from um, Ping Ping No Pro was his name in the, um, it doesn't say which, which, which leaderboard. Anyways, Ping No Pro was the one who had this deck list get to Masters. I really like Clash of Giants. I might pop one of these in there. Which I think, let's 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 play one or two games and then we'll do it. Because today should be a longer stream. So, uh, we'll experiment with Clash of Giants after a few games testing this out. The big, big combo I'm excited to try out here. Almost like an insane build or PNZ failure, like, buried in ice combo. Instead of buried in ice, excuse me, buried in ice into, uh, it that stairs, she who wanders. I never remember which one. Anyways, Ayasilla, turn six, turn seven, Winter's Breath, it doubles since this is an elemental skill. So it's kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. With Ayasilla on board, it's going to frostbite everybody, then kill all of them. It's like, that's a 7 mana, 1 sided board wipe. Pretty insane. Like, Castigate that hits champions too. So, this looks like a really nasty combo. I can definitely see why we're playing two of those in the main deck with Ayasilla. Um, Some other cards, what are the other cards here that we could play? Is the... What's the one that... um. Doubles your elemental skills. I suppose it's Bilgewater, right? All, all your all your spell damage. Does anybody remember what that's called? Deluge, yeah, yeah. So Deluge is an interesting one. At some point, I do want to go back to the Bilgewater package with Janna, like a Janna Nyla elementals deck to get access to like Wizened Helmsman and the Deluge. But anyways, at the moment, uh, this deck does look pretty solid for like this kind of fresh new brew. And so yeah, let's see how we do and get into some games. Also, what's up, Max? Did I say what's up yet? Sorry, I saw your text, but I was finishing up talking about the deck. I don't think I actually said hey. Lurk. Lurk, lurk, lurk. Okay. What are we looking for in this? I don't mind Acorn. Just as an early one-drop. Kind of can chump block at least. Just got done with orientation, chilling before a club event starts soon. That's awesome! Congratulations! That's very cool. I hope it goes well. Ooh, like, do I want to... block here? What if I just pass next turn? I think I'm gonna actually take this. Because they're almost certainly going to have units to attack with later. Um, so, like, this being around isn't going to be the only unit that lets them trigger Lurk. I'm going to play this because if I play a Snap Just Swarm, we get to block and then play Divine Draft. Or block this guy plus Divine Draft. Or just kill both of those. Which I think I'm going to do. I don't want them to take the open attack. This, this hand looks nasty. Like, really bad. Not nasty in the good way. Watching both of you under friends doing a magic at the gathering tournament. Nice. Okay. Um, 
I'm a little worried. This is not going great. Gina can still block a Snapjaw Swarm if they play a Snapjaw Swarm and don't hit Rek'Sai. Updrafting Volibear actually seems kind of nice, like if we redraw him. We can get down one of our Exalted Cloudwinders next turn, and that can really help our draw. Like, this is this is not great. <laughs> what are our best removals we even have here? Oh, I guess Winter's Breath Blast Iosil is one way to do it. Ooh, a Sky Splitter seems good too. Okay, this is not great. We could just get Iosil on board and go for the crazy combo next turn. Because Jin is probably dead. Or, hold on, how much? We're going to have... We're going to have 9 mana next turn. We need 10 mana for these two. If I wait until next turn. Or, because Jin only reduces the cost of it for this round. So I guess I probably should just get Iosil on board and keep him safe. That's so risky. Why pull with this guy? I can't... I can't lose... I can't lose Ayacilla, right? I guess we have another in hand. What are the odds that they're gonna... Hmm. I think I'm just gonna try to protect Janna. Maybe... I don't know what to do here. I'm a little worried that... They're just gonna kill Ayacilla here. But maybe they don't realize the Winter's Breath combo. And like, we can just kind of hope they'll still devote resources to try to kill Janna. Oh, one mana off. Okay. Look, this is where I'm a little worried. I can just start with a pass. That's not great. I think I'm kind of forced into playing Winter's Breath here, and we just lose if they have a... I mean, maybe we're not, maybe we're not. If I play Exalted Cloudwinder, maybe they just develop next turn. Okay. Um, I'm not going to run into a Quicksand here, because then we kind of just lose in the open attack if they have another Rek'Sai Lurk. Or like Ruthless Predator or anything. So I'm just going to end the round, draw my cards, and hope that they develop here. Nice. Hand feels a little bad right now, but hopefully they develop. Yeah, if they develop, I think we're looking much better. Oh, please don't have right negation. This would be so sick if they don't have right negation. All right, that's pretty big. That's huge. And we get to play three units to follow up. Oh, baby. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> oh, uh, not great, but he's going to level. <laughs> I can just throw away one of these Windborn Mariners. Next turn we can play Volibear. Which way to spiritual fulfillment? <laughs> nah, not a chance. Wait, he levels and kills my dude? What? Why does he kill my dude? Wouldn't he Wouldn't he kill this guy and then level? What? That's a little annoying. I didn't realize that. If I if I'd known that, I obviously wouldn't have played my next unit. I I didn't understand that would work like that. Oopsies. So now we just have to hope they don't have interaction. <laughs> okay. Is it ever better to just not play Volley Bear this turn? I don't know. What are the odds of them having another Pike or another uh, Pike spell? I guess they didn't have a right negation before. The odds of them having interaction now, maybe not so high. 
And we can hopefully just win the game here. Okay, please don't have another pike. <laughs> like, our hand is actually kind of okay at this point. I'm not scared of much, except for... Pike. Oh, also, I didn't realize this was Volibear's champ spell. That's really fun. I thought I thought Guy Splitter was his champion spell for some reason. Oh, well, maybe I just threw by attacking with Volibear. Okay. I think we lose. Well, like maybe not. This this is pushing five. If if they if they attack and pull here, and we block here, and let's say this guy hits double lurk, we take eight exactly. So I can play this, force them to take the attack. If they have double lurk, we only take seven. And then as soon as we get an action, we can heal our nexus to stay alive through blood in the water. I think that's probably just game then, right? We can go up to 10. Or we can heal Volibear. I guess that's pretty much the same thing. Well, if I'd known they were doing that. <laughs> uh, is there anything I can do here? I don't know if I'm seeing anything. We can pick off one of them. And then we take, I mean, like, he's going to become an 11 power minimum. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Brutal. I thought we were pretty close here. Our early game was really slow. Unfortunate. Do we have any good removal for those big units? I don't even know what we run there that could stop them. We do run two copies of Shatter in the main deck. Like, that could have been useful. And, um... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like that was certainly a winnable matchup. There were just a few things that didn't go our way. Like, the first death from below. That card is so hard for our deck to interact with. Like... We can kill things once they're on board, but Pike, you know, obviously not being on board when he strikes. Um, and then obviously the overall units are tough to tough to kill. All right, Lurk again. Mm, let's see how we do this time. I like Miriam and Windborn Mariner. Mar Windborn Mariner is just a nice, easy, fearsome blocker. Miriam might be able to attack early on. I can keep Sky Splitter. It might be actually kind of important for keeping one of our units alive. But would I rather just find better removal? Sure. Acorn. I'm just gonna trade here. I don't think that one mana reduction on Howling Gale is all that important here. I'm probably just gonna play Miriam and shuffle away probably Winter's Breath. I'd rather have Ayasilla on board uh, than Winter's Breath in hand, like if I had to choose one of the two. But we do run two Winter's Breath and we have a lot of other elemental skills that he can double anyway. But I don't want to pass here in case they do have a Snapjaw Swarm. And like this is this is tricky for me. 
if I attack, they're probably just going to take the damage. But what if they blocked and then had like three one drops next turn, like another Forsaken Bakai that they could pull? And I'm like, oh, that'd be bad. Anyways, we should be fine. This turn looks a little more awkward. All this slow speed interaction. Where are my like fast speed static shocks plus disintegrates? <laughs> I guess I can just pass for now. They're just gonna pull here though. Oof, this does not feel fantastic. Cause I guess what I could do is Ugh, I don't know if that's thing. I think I'm just gonna pass. I'll let them take their kill. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I'm a little worried about a snapshot storm. We just don't have any fast speed interaction. I guess I might as well play Divine Draft. I don't know if there's anything that we're going to top deck that really influences this. And, um... I don't want to necessarily end the round next turn without doing anything either. I'm, I'm worried about a Snapdress Storm. I don't know. What could we draw here that could actually be useful? Cloudwinder would still be too expensive. Like, a Scholarly Pioneer would be fine, I guess. Mir another Miriam. Janna's all, not all that important, the first Janna at least. Like, she's probably not going to live long enough when they can grant vulnerable, things like that. And the Pike Spell. So, I'd like to see her just to try to find some better cards, but... Hey, which way to spiritual fulfillment? You're out of here. I'm probably not going to waste a Howling Gale. We can try to kill Pike later. I'm probably just going to draw some cards here. That seems like such a waste, though. I mean, this potentially saves us four or more health, so I think that was worth it. We can go Shatter and double it with ISL next turn. That seems pretty good. I really need to find some fast speed interaction, though. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> Cloudwinder's nice. I like this card a lot. It's pretty good in this matchup. Um, if you can get the reduced cost, like a 3 mana 3 2, to help block on board and also find your card advantage. I really like this card. I'm probably just going to try to shatter this uh, hammer snout if they don't play anything meaningful. I'd, I'd be much more comfortable just ending the round if I had any way to stop them on the open attack. You already have to head out, apparently. All right, well, have fun. I'll text you later. Uh, that's fine for us. I'm just going to use Shatter here. Keep up Howling Gale to try to kill something bigger. Because with, with ISL on board, this can pretty much kill anything in their deck. That's a little more annoying.
All right. Please no rally. We're going to be able to get Exalted Cloudwinder for cheap next turn. Well, they can't. Rally's five mana, right? Okay. Ooh, Miriam's really good. Oh, yeah, Scylla's really good. We can play both of these two, which actually seems nice now that we have a fast speed spell. <laughs> hmm. Snapjaw Swarm? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're just going to keep drawing as many cards as possible. We can end the round. We have... This will be activated for two mana next turn, so we can kill everything if they open attack. The the nice. That guy's gonna be two mana. I'm gonna draw one here. I might want to find extra removal. Rek'Sai. I guess we have to play a unit first, huh? Together we shall watch over those who need Oh shoot, I'm such a moron. Don't we die, cause this this isn't this isn't enough damage. Or Pike's gonna level anyways. Okay, we're we're dead. There were there were, we were losing anyways because of Pike. But I had to play this first. Um Okay. Man, Lurk is Lurk grates on my nerves. <laughs> Obviously I must I made some mistakes, but I don't find it fun to lose against this deck. How many times is Pike gonna have a level against me too? I feel like he never levels when I play against Lurk. And that's two matches in a row. Brutal. Uh, what are the other elementals? Are there other elementals? I'm just going to pop in some Mystic Shots. I didn't like dying so much to Lurk. <laughs> Maybe that's a little aggressive. But I felt like we, there were just so many points when I'm like, man, this is this does not feel great. We've played aggro. We've used up our aggro for the day. So now we can just play Clash of Giants. <laughs> Clash, of Gi Clash, of Clash of Giants plus Acorn busted combo. Alright, I'm a little disappointed in the early results. But I feel like I see what the deck's trying to do. I thought they would take the trade there.
I'm pretty happy to just get to turn four here, try to get some Gianna draw. I don't care about that as much. Oh. I'll probably just pick off one of them. Okay. These guys aren't going to be elusive afterwards, but I don't really care about the elusives. Uh, it's more just the damage. Like, this isn't like a elusive crazy combo stat build. It's just like an elusive spam deck. So I'm just going to try to save some HP if I can there. Cool card. Acorn and Green Glade Duo are so fun. Nice card. If they develop, that's really, really good. Nice. Now they only have one card in hand. This should be pretty good for us from here on out. Uh, I think the spell mana doesn't matter as much here. And if they have one last burn spell in hand, if they use just to kill our Janna, like, they're still never finding enough damage for lethal anytime soon. Divine Draft is like a two for one in these aggro matchups. Like, we got two, not even just like killed one unit, damaged another unit, but just like straight up killing two units. That's so big. It's killing two cards and four mana to two mana worth of investment. That was that was pretty big. Our opponent's probably like, yeah, this game's over. Not only that, but our Jana's pretty close to leveling too. Uh, just hypothetically, if our opponent was still playing, I'd probably just uh, play the zero cost Windborn Mariam here, and I'd wait until next turn to play Mariam. I don't really need to get rid of this Howling Gale. It can probably kill anything they play. So I'm just going to keep that in hand as like a last ditch resort for removal in case we can't find any more fast speed removal at the very least. Uh, and then just, you know, maybe draw something else with Mariam next turn. I hope this timer runs out soon because it's still going to be a while before we actually kill them. Oh, hello. I always forget, like, Janna's cost reduction is pretty important. I always just kind of view it as, like, oh, she's valuable because she makes two cards cheaper in your deck and helps you find better cards, but she also reduces those cards' cost. Like, I always forget that. I cast thee out. All right, well, that was pretty good. I want to see like one of the Jinx, Samira, Nyla combination of decks to see how our deck would perform against that type of aggro. That was a solid one. Oh, look at that. Okay. Fizz Samir. I haven't seen this one in a while. Miriam looks good. I'll probably ditch the others. I like Howling Gale more in like mid range matchups. Divine Rollwind, I think, is my preference for these kind of matchups. I'll develop Acorn. Uh, getting Divine Rollwind cheaper. Divine Rollwind is Divine Rollwind is cheap. <laughs> getting Divine Rollwind cheaper is more important here, I think, uh, than just taking the pass. Uh, if even if she has, if Samira's on turn three, cheapers. I can't speak right now. Even if Samira's on turn three to kill Acorn, I think that's fine. And hopefully by then we'll be able to get Divine Rollwind cheap to kill Samira.
I wonder if our opponent's like main deck can make it rain or something, if that's what they're thinking about. I don't know what to do there. I was thinking about updrafting, either to um, just refill my spell mana, so that next turn I had six mana to work with, so I could play like Divide and Rollwind plus another Miriam. But I don't think it's worth it. I don't really want to go down cards here. Like getting rid of a card for mana is nice, but like in decks like this, you really need to outvalue your opponent with just like being able to play more cards than them. Like, I'm probably just going to let Acorn die here. I don't really care if they challenge him. It would obviously be preferable not to, but if they let this go, next turn we can go double Miriam plus Windborn Mariner. Or not. Uh, I guess I still kind of have to pass, huh? I could throw away one Miriam here. Or I could just take three and still just go Miriam Miriam uh Miriam uh, Miriam Miriam Mariner next turn sure gosh she's gonna level on turn four as well Ayasilla doesn't look all that impressive here. I might shuffle him away. If it's turn 4, we're not going to get him down until our next attack turn anyway. And I kind of just need to find removal, I think, is our best option. Ooh, like, that's really good. It's not removal, but uh, double Miriam here looks pretty nasty. Oh, well, that would have been good with, <laughs> with Ayasilla. Doesn't do much without him, though. We can try to just kill Samira this turn. They shouldn't be able to protect her. They'd have to have double... Double... Double all out. I wanted to say form up, but I knew that wasn't right. Okay, if we just kill Samira here... The board is nowhere near as threatening. The elusive damage could be pesky over time, but the fearsome's not as scary. We can just play a flag exalted cloudwinder if we need to try to find some card advantage and hopefully catch up that way. Because they're not pushing a billion damage on board at the moment. Oh, that's not good. If they try to rally here. Oh, with that one? Wait. That's pretty big for us, isn't it? I thought they were going to play it on the Fizz. That helps us increase our own offensive pressure now. Getting to swing into the next 31 next turn. And they just, they just wasted their entire turn 5. Doing nothing except, you know, the 4 damage. Which is nice, like... That's obviously going to chip in over time, but... Oh, do they already activate Plunder? Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, they didn't. 
Okay, woof, that was good. So they got, they got the fizz level, but if they played that all out on one of these guys, they would have pushed an extra two damage. Like, that would have been really bad for us. But I think that was just a little bit of a misplay from our opponent. I'll just play Cloudwinder here. We need the card draw next turn. We don't have much else to do. And then take our attack. I can attack with everything. Because I don't want them to push the overwhelm damage. Wow. Like, throwing away this, I don't think they win if they do that. Like, they need to protect their own life total. And so, like, if they didn't block either of those, they would have gone into Mystic Shot range. But that's that's huge for us. I guess, like, Fizz still could theoretically deal a lot of damage here. But hopefully it's not enough. Uh, Windboard Mariner. Yeah, I'll play you. And then I'll shuffle away these two. Ooh, alright. I wonder if we have lethal in the open here. I don't think so. Or, yeah, I guess so. If they didn't find, because they don't usually run any action like make it rains or anything, and they'd have to get a little lucky to do that. All right, well, two matches against aggro that's not lurk aggro has gone well. Oops, I forgot to update my stream title today. We are playing Wobbly Janna. All right, so Mirror Janna, cool, cool, cool. I really like this deck. This is my favorite deck of the expansion so far. I'm not feeling this elemental package, like the, the Freljord elemental package, hasn't been very impressive. This Shatter feels like it's a completely dead card unless your opponent, unless you get Ayasilla on board. But like, so far it's felt a little clunky. What, why are they running Acorn? What's their expensive spells? Take the shot or lose the chance. I'll probably just Mystic Shot Samira here. They can have the um the spell reduction. Watch it reduce the flare. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that would be funny. All right, uh, we're not doing much of anything this turn. I'll just pass. Fill your lungs and cry yep, that's panic. much better for them. <laughs> I'll probably just use Sky Splitter here. Oh, interesting. I was really hoping they'd take that attack, because that would let us use Sky Splitter to trigger our Howling Gale to kill Janna. Now what do I do? I don't love it. I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to really do much there. I don't think we had a great play. They don't even block. Like, they must be playing around Sky Splitter. But uh, I'm pretty happy to see that. We could just play our own Cloud Render. Man, not getting our Janna is really sad for me here. <laughs> like, I'd really like to be working on leveling up our Janna, uh, but we cannot. I'll probably just have to try to kill their Janna this turn. 
How do I do that though? Like if this, we don't have a great way to activate Cloudwinder. I guess I'll probably just start killing some of their units. I don't even know. I'm just gonna pass. I feel like this game went very, very poorly, and it wasn't necessarily our fault. We just didn't really have any great ways to activate. Our, like, yeah, we didn't draw our Miriams, we didn't draw our Janna. Our poor Cloudrunner's been, like, clunking up our hand all day. Janna's gonna level. I really need to be able to kill Janna next turn. I think we're just going to have to take our lumps this turn, see what happens, and try to catch up later. That job doesn't help too much. We have Volibear. Like, there there are cards that can really swing around this game for us. Even, like, Ayasilla plus our elemental spells would be pretty big. Ayasilla plus Gale's Long Flock looks fun, too. Alright, well that's one reason I could finally play that card. <laughs> okay. The time for calm has passed. Now the tempest awakens. How do I kill her? I mean she's only dealing through damage. It's not like she doesn't actually do anything when she hits Nexus as an elusive. So I can just play Jin or uh Acorn is another chump blocker here. My vortex shall consume you. Ah oh, man, I don't know what to do here. Our hand feels so bad. Do I just have to throw away Cloudwinder? That can't be right. Well, they don't have a flare. Why don't they have a flare? Did they... What? Did they use it? Why did they use their flare? Oh, they updrafted it. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, that means... That means... I'm sorry, opponent. I'm not trying to slow roll you. Tight game. Very tight game. I feel like we really should have been able to find some other things to do, though. At some point in this game, right? Like, our jaw just felt really bricked. Augmented Clocklink's an interesting one. Like, honestly... I get the appeal of... Ayasilla. Like, this Shatter is literally a dead card this game. Like, it, it's a slow speed Frostbite as well, so it's not even like we could have used it this turn to try to save some damage easily. I like the idea of comboing Ayasilla with... The Gale Song Flock, or the, or the Clash of Giants, right? Uh, I don't know. Echo Janna? That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I'd love to see the list. Alright, like, do we even have a chance anymore? I don't think we do. We're gonna have to kill both Samira and Janna this turn. Which is done. I don't think we can do. I think this one's over. Unfortunate. I'd love to redo that one. That was that was an interesting game, but I'm not I'm not sold on the ISL stuff. It's cute, like comboing with the Volibear. I don't know if I love it. I feel like ISL. You want ISL if you're doing like the um 
the bilge water stuff. With like deluge and stuff and the waves, the crashing waves. I'm going to I'm going to try this. I'm going to go I'm going to cut one Iasilla. I don't want to get too crazy because it's still a fun card. But we had a really hard time finding the actual cards we needed here. I'm going to I'm going to cut the shadows completely. I was not impressed. And put in Clockwing. And what else could we slot in here? We could put back in one of the pioneers. Sure, let's give that a try. All right, let me pull up this deck on the other screen. All right, here. Miriam seems like it'd be pretty good in an Echo deck. Just again, the flexibility of Miriam is impressive. Looks cool. I like it. I'll give it a try in a little bit. Volibear Lowey. Okay, this is another one I want to try more. What do you guys think of Eye of the Storm? I have not found it very impressive yet. I like it. Just doesn't feel like it fits quite right. It's really expensive. Like, I don't want to be dumping four mana into my deck to draw two. Like, I feel like there are better effects that do similar things. Like, in some sense, I'd almost... Uh, stop it. Stop it. I'd almost just rather play a rummage at some point. Like, the extra two damage is not... Like, we're not playing a burn deck, you know? Yeah, I'm probably just going to updraft Volibear here. I don't think we need spell mana, obviously. And I definitely want to dig towards some of our interaction. We saw we saw the tentacles get big the other day. Definitely caused problems with Naga Kaburos. Ah, I'm thinking of just playing Scholarly Pioneer here. I mean, we're never killing a tentacle, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's going to become a 6-6 six, six on attack here. Ah, oh, this already feels kind of like a lost cause. I just don't know how we're ever killing their stuff. Or not on attack, sorry, on next round it's going to become a 6-6. Six, six. So if I block it, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Like, that's still killable if we find our elemental spells soon enough. And I probably have to block just to get it in range of Divine Draft eventually, and try to save some health. Like, we're on the back foot. I feel like this one, it's going to go long if we catch up. I'll get this Windborne Manor down for one. Um... We're not, we're not drawing this specific turn. Jenna, I beg you, reveal my path to me. Place your faith in me. And this guy's going to be kind of wild. If they get an Alawi down soon, and they probably have stuff like Sky Splitter still in hand. I don't know. I think this is looking tough. Tentacle smash. Oof. Yeah, this is not looking good. Okay. J 
Janet dies if they have Sky Splitter. But she's for sure dead if we take if we buck tentacle. So like she's either saving three life or four life. And at least this way forces them to invest other resources. And we have the potential upside of keeping her alive. This is not great. <laughs> Like Ayasilla plus plus Shatter could actually could actually get us out of this mess. Oh, I'm sorry, I uh, Vilar, I completely forgot to finish off your thought there. Miriam's so good in Echo and Janice good removal bait because you still draw cards next turn and if she sticks her golden. I was thinking that too, like Janna herself isn't the aggro champion, but just like fixing your hand, almost like a, a rummage attached to a stick that your opponents still have to try to kill. I like Divine Whirlwind here for trying to stick Ayasilla this next turn. And we'll be reducing it by one. So the following turn it might be usable. Oh, like that's that's nasty if we get that down next turn. Like this this is the dream with Ayasilla, right? Like copying your Divine Whirlwinds, your Winter's Breaths, your Volley Bears. I don't know if he's gonna live though. <laughs> the open attack is still isn't lethal, so we're fine. Or maybe it is, because the overwhelm. Oh thank goodness. Woo! <gasps> no! Oh, why does it deal four to a unit? Well that's that's turbo brutal. It's not over yet, opponent. <laughs> Oh, wow. Can you believe that? The one unit... Not the one unit. Obviously, Volley Bears, they probably weren't thinking... But you know what I mean. Like, if it was any other unit they developed that didn't kill our Miriam, we just would have one-sided ruination them for seven mana. That's so funny. Hmm. No, that's GG. Ah, oh, so close. So close. All right, I don't know, man. I'm like the deck feels close. I just feel like we never really it never clicked today. Let's try this Janna Echo. Ooh. Also, I think I've played against this person a lot before. I feel like that name is very familiar. I'll probably keep the removal. That seems like nice for killing Nar. And I don't know if Jane is a keep. Like she seems fine, but she's not the aggro style thing we're looking for. I'm not. I'm, it's like it's not like I'm, you know, Jane and Volibear combo deck. <laughs> I'll probably, probably pitch this three. Although I like Janna. Maybe I should keep her. Brutal. Oh, you know what? Miriam, shuffling away the, the drop orders that you draw? That feels pretty good. And it makes it zero mana, so even if you do end up redrawing it, it doesn't feel bad. Hello. I, I feel like Jin is just such a satisfying champion to play. Hmm. Chunky little badger bear. block. Five health is a pretty significant amount of damage. And I want to try to keep their board clear if I can. Yeah. 
I'll play Jenna first. I kind of like keeping the removal. I don't know if we need Mystic Shot. And I'm, I'm assuming first Janna will die. But I can... All right, uh, maybe I want to do this. But if, if Janna doesn't die, this other Janna doesn't look so great. Because if they respond with a, a single combat here... Okay. I'm going to start with an Aftershock here. Just to try to kill this guy, at least. Interesting. I haven't seen that card in a while. Oh wow, this turn could actually be pretty good for us. Scrying scenes could be interesting. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're playing Time Trick anyway. I guess that was a little silly. I could have done that order differently. This Time Trick's reduced for now. But it's kind of cheap. Would I rather just get Clockling on board? I guess I could try to find an Echo. Alright. I'll try to get him out here. They didn't have a pump spill before, so... I'm gonna... Like, they, they could have saved that badge bear last turn. Also, doesn't this, when he's leveled, yeah, doesn't it, does it count as a reduced fleet time trick? Or since it was zero when it was created, is it not reduced? I'm thinking I'm just gonna let let this go and see what they do, and then Hexbliterator Jarvan post combat. I also don't need to Hexbliterate Jarvan right now. I can just like um keep my Jana alive, which actually seems kind of important. She's close to leveling. And then play Augmented Clockling, maybe. Oh, that was nice. Real good to see you. Soldiers of Demacia, stand with me! They still haven't used a pump spell. I don't know if I want to give them that fleeting cataclysm though. I think I'm just going to let this time trick go to waste. Although it's certainly tempting, huh? I don't know. I don't think I want to give them the cataclysm. Hmm, okay. This could draw us a second reduced card. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Interesting. I kind of like this, like, Jarvan Narm ma mix 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 
<laughs> mashup is what I was trying to say. Um, not particularly impressed with any of these. Oh heck yeah! All right, that's good. I'm gonna try to get in there with my elusive attackers if I can. Yeah, that one hurts. Only two overwhelm units. Is there any way for us to get out of this? I can just throw away Echo and hoping he finds us a chrono shift soon. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough health on board. Man, exactly lethal. Well, you had a future. It's pretty brutal. Ah! I thought we were so close too, man. Warden of the Chides is so good. That's just like another oversight though. I don't know how much mana we had in the last turn um, when I Mystic shot the Badger Bear. I think we only, I think we had four mana left. So if I did use Aftershock that turn before as well to kill one of their other units, it wouldn't have mattered though because the two units that got Overwhelm would have, would have lived through Aftershock anyways. So we were just dead anyway. Brutal. Okay, the Elusive one again. Uh, Scrying Sands is, like, fine for saving a little bit of damage. I just leveling up Echo early on. I don't know if it's keep in the, in the opener, but... I am the demon wind. Yeah, I think I'll use the Scrying Sands here. This looks like a turn four leveled Echo too, which is pretty nice. Or at least close. Turn five at the latest. <laughs> ah, but now we could level them on turn four. Ancient prep, ancient prep plus time trick next turn. Just, just, both of us just casually playing solitaire over here, you know? Like that. All coming back to me now. I don't know if we're gonna live to our next attack turn. <laughs> Oh, 
I guess I could take the Clockling. If they give us an action next turn, it could block an Elusive. And just be a nice predict to try to find a Chrono Break. Alright. We don't have Renegation mana, so if they have some way to protect the Green Glade duo, it's looking a little doomed. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find a Chrono Break here and hopefully we can just kill them next turn. Janna unfortunately won't draw us cards until our next attack turn. They probably just have the burn here. But we, we had to tap below running negation. Like if I played Mystic Shot at all on that Green Glade duo, we tapped below running negation this turn, so. Okay. Oh. Uh are we winning if we just chrono break next turn though? Like we probably need Echo and then find Chrono Break. They can still chump block. I'm only pushing 7 damage in the open, plus the rally attack. I think our best shot is Echo plus... Oh no. That doesn't, that doesn't make me feel very safe. And we don't have enough mana for Echo anyway. Echo plus Renegation. I mean, we're dead on the open attack next turn. Like, we're either winning this turn with a free Chrono Break that forces them to chump block and then top decking some removal. Like, if they have burned this turn and we right negation it, they just kill us next turn. So, like, I don't think it particularly matters here to keep up right negation. We're also running a Quixiant, so I could just draw a Quixiant if they double block like this. I am surprised we haven't run into a quicksand yet. We've done a lot of predicting. <laughs> okay, so quicksand's not enough anymore. But Chrono Break off the top. Oh, baby! Okay, that's pretty big. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be lucky to be good, you know? We could also find our own burn. We're running triple mystic shot. Wow, this is this is interesting mind games. If we if we happen to find mystic shot next turn, like if they're holding on to their mystic shot, whoever whoever blinks first loses. Because I don't have any elusives anymore. At least on board, right? Hmm, that's not gonna do it. I'll skip that. Uh oh. They probably are just holding blowback in hand and had to draw a second card. I can end the round though. I don't have to do anything this turn if they're just holding on to burn. Oh no! That's that's pretty good. Was not expecting that one in a in the elusive burn deck. <laughs> pretty pretty clever though. I mean, essentially just heal five, heal three if you're like in an aggro mirror type thing and draw your two burn spells to win the game. It's not bad. Okay. 
We're probably just dead if they have multiple burns. But... Right like so. negation, they have to... Oh my gosh. Okay. Blowback's four mana. So, like, they obviously have two burn spells here, right? We're, we're, we have to do this, but then they just... We're, we're only running one right negation, too. So if they have any other burn, which seems likely... Brutal. All coming back to me now. Man, GG. That's so brutal. I feel like all those games are so close today. With both decks. That, re that rejuvenating breeze, like, actually pretty nasty in that instance. The healed six drew four over the course of those final two turns. Not bad. All right, well that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Echo Janna deck was really cool, Valar. I hope that was hope you enjoyed watching. That was cool. I'll definitely actually look into this more. But that was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon at some point, probably later in the day. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed chatting with you, and I'll see you next time.